Yo, 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 what is up, guys? Caleb here, back in another video, and today we're giving you 10 features that almost ruined the song. Now, of course, we gotta start off at number one with Pain 1993 featuring Playboy Cardi. Now, I'll say this, and I've said it before, this was really overhyped, probably one of the most overhyped snippets I heard in a long time. I mean, you got Drake spitting this fire verse, and Cardi kinda just wasted this whole verse away just to do the baby voice and actually ruin the baby voice. Now, moving on to number two, this is a big one. Kendrick Lamar on Mask Off. Now, Mask Off was obviously a hit, not even a debate really, but you put Kendrick on there, you think, okay, this is gonna be kind of fire. You know, it's not what I really was expecting or wanting. Nobody really asked for it, but this is what we're gonna get, okay, fire. So you get Kendrick on there and you get Kendrick trying to speak some positivity and just basically be inspirational on a trap beat and it doesn't really make sense because the song was not really meant for that kind of vibe. Now honestly it doesn't matter how many times you listen to the song, Kendrick did not go with what Future had in mind bro. Because Future's only talking about drugs and now you're talking about inspiring people. What What's going on? Now moving on to number three, we have Future going on to ruin congratulations now normally when you get a remix you should be putting the person who's the featured artist maybe at the end of the song now this song has future at the beginning and at the ending and in the middle and it's like whenever he was rapping it seemed as if his vocals were stepping on top of Quavo and Post Malone's vocals so it didn't sound natural it just honestly sound like that future was trying to overshadow them on the song that they made popular now next we have shells featuring shabazz now technically it is uzi that is the feature but if you listen to the song shabazz is really just being trash and don't get me wrong i understand that you can't really match up to uzi but saying the word shells for 80 times in one song is far too much and at that point you're not even trying so I would say that this song is really Uzi's and Shabazz is the feature because Uzi just carried this dude all the way through. Cause let's not act like Uzi wasn't gonna body that beat whenever you heard it. Now moving on, we have The Way Life Goes featuring Nicki Minaj. Now anybody that's listened to Love Is Rage 2 and listened to The Way Life Goes, you know that The Way Life Goes is a song that's really sad to be honest with you. And for Nicki to go on there and be like just Nicki wasn't really fitting the vibe of the song at all so if nikki really wanted to sing on this song like she wanted to really bad because honestly remember she asked uzi for the beat she should have just made a single with just her if she wanted to do that because if she wasn't going to fit the vibe that uzi was bringing she should have just stayed on her own yeah this just doesn't work because you're not gonna have one person be sad and one person just be turning up it doesn't make any sense now moving on again we have future on king's dead now anybody that's listened to King's Dead will know that this is basically a song where everybody's eating this track up. There's several features on the track. And then Future hops on there with his regular voice. And it wasn't bad. Like, to be honest with you, it wasn't bad. Y'all know how much I don't like Future. But for him to go into this raspy voice, or whatever he was doing next, honestly, it just takes you out the song because that's not what you know future to do it's just random like he's never done that before but luckily j-rock and kendrick go back into the song and they snap and they actually save the song now next we have bust down part two featuring uvd now bust down was one of tribute reds probably one of his best songs and probably still is one of his best songs and probably shouldn't even be touched but for trippy to make a part two and to have not just a feature but a french rapper go on there and try to rap now don't get me wrong he may have been spitting but i don't even know a word that he said and the fact that he called this bust down part two was really disappointing because the first one was so good and i'm sure most of the people that listened to this song were thinking the same thing i was thinking too about not being able to understand what the guy was saying and i understand tribute trying to do something different but like he's a french rapper none of your raps even come close to speaking french I bet when Trippy heard the verse, he didn't even know what he said. He had to ask him after the fact. Now, the next song is Pull Up, featuring Lil Uzi Vert in YNW Melly. And for some reason, YNW Melly came after Uzi, which is probably a death sentence because trying to live up to Uzi or trying to match Uzi is really hard. I mean, let's be honest. What's the last time Uzi took an L on a feature? Does that ever happen? 
exactly. And the fact that his flow didn't match Lil Keed or Uzi kind of ruined that part of the song. I mean, at the end of his verse, he even tried to slow down. Like, why would you do that on a song like that? And we cannot forget the fact that Uzi, whenever he gets on a song, I think it's his idea that it's really his song and not the feature. Now, moving on to number nine, we have Nav on Yosemite. Now, it's not like Nav's verse was like garbage, but like, you know how it went. Gunna and Travis doing their thing. Of course, Travis is gonna do his thing because it's his album and he's not a feature artist. But the fact you're gonna have Nav be on there at the tail end of the song and be three feet away from the mic doesn't really help. Now, at that point, Nav shouldn't have even been on the song. But moving on to the last feature, at number 10, we have Travis Scott featured on Close, the song by Ray Shrimmer. Now, don't get me wrong, Travis's verse was complete fire, you know what I'm saying? But for a three minute and 14 second song, Travis only delivered, what, 25, maybe even 30 seconds of a verse? It's way too short. Now, had he had a longer verse or even another part later in the song, I think this song would've gone from just a song to like a hit, cause it was that hot. So yeah, it's not that his verse was trash, but he held the song back from being great by having not another verse. But that's the end of my list. If you guys stayed all the way through, make sure to like button. Also, let me know in the comment section down below, is there anything you didn't agree with? Or are you liking everything that's on the list? Let me know. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see the rest of you guys later.